Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Osho Zen Tarot. So I got this as a used item. It said it was like new and it's still in the shrink wrap. So I'm really excited about that. I do like purchasing used decks when they're in really good condition. That one wasn't so bad to open. Sometimes they're really tricky. Okay, so this one opens from the bottom. Okay. All right, so this one says, when life seems to be full of doubt and uncertainty, we tend to look for a source of inspiration. What will happen in the future? What about my health? The children? What will happen if I make this decision and not that one? This is how the traditional tarot is often used to satisfy a longing to know about the past and future. This Osho Zen tarot focuses instead on gaining an understanding of the here and now. It is a system based on the wisdom of Zen, a wisdom that says events in the other world simply reflect our own thoughts and feelings. Even though we ourselves might be unclear about what those thoughts and feelings are, so it helps us to turn our attention away from outside events so we can find a new clarity of understanding about what is happening in our own innermost hearts. The conditions and states of mind portrayed by the temp contemporary images on the cards are all shown as being essentially transitional and transformative. The text in the accompanying book helps to interpret and understand the images in the simple, straightforward, and down-to-earth language of Zen. So that's pretty much how I interpret the tarot. Um, I always feel like it's not so much a tool to understand other people, but it's a tool to understand how we can react and how we can um, better navigate the situations that we find ourselves in. Okay, so I do like this box. This will keep the cards nice and secure. They won't be jumbling around so much. I do think that this outer box will begin to get damaged though because it's, it's pretty thin and flimsy, but we'll see how that holds up. Okay. Some people like me like to keep the boxes. There's some people that hate the boxes and they immediately discard them. And then some people never store their cards in the box, but they keep them in case they want to resell them or for whatever reason. Um, but I like to keep my cards in the box. Okay, so here we have the book. And let's open these cards. So these are packaged like a regular, like just plain cards here. Like this really crinkly paper. Okay. Okay, so this is the back of the card deck. It's really pretty. It's pretty thin um, and very flexible, but not too thin. I think this will shuffle really well. So I'll shuffle that later. Let's take a look at the book. The Zen attitude towards life is that of laughter, of living, of enjoying, of celebrating. Zen is not anti-life. It is life affirmative. It accepts all that is this very body, the Buddha. 
Okay. So I guess here it tells you some more things um, that you can read by Osho. We have your table of contents. Major and minor arcana. Acknowledgements. And then the introduction. Let's see. Okay, and then for each card, it gives you a bit of commentary. You know what? I'm going to turn my other light on. It was kind of glaring, um, but I think I need that on. There we go. It was glaring on the plastic on the box, so I turned it off, but that's better. Okay. So it gives us a commentary on each card, and then it goes on to talk about the meanings. So they did go ahead and rename some of the cards. Instead of the Magician, now we have Existence. The High Priestess changed to Inner Voice. I'm not going to go over every single one of them because um, it's not a deck review. It's just kind of a walkthrough. But uh, instead of the, um, the Empress, we have Creativity. And the Emperor is the Rebel. So... You'll have to go, if you if you get this deck, you'll have to go in and spend some time getting to know your deck because it doesn't exactly follow um, the Rider weight. Okay, let's see. Okay, so this one starts off with Consciousness. And then we have the Fool. I don't know why that one's on top. I guess it would help if I read the book first. <laughs> but I didn't want to do that. Yeah, because here we have one of these gray ones. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and continue the way that it was packaged. Okay.
Okay, so let's see how the cards are cut. Pretty good. I don't feel any really sharp cards in here. Let's see how they shuffle. Oh, these shuffle beautifully. Sometimes when you get a new deck, they're very stiff and sometimes they're so thick. Um, I can't even fit the entire deck in my hands to shuffle. I'll have to do them in two batches. But these, these are a great size. They're very comfortable. I don't strain my fingers at all. And these shuffle great. Um, I would say it almost shuffles as good as most of the thinner um, low Scarabo decks. And the only reason I say almost is because this card is a little bit thicker. Usually those cards, or maybe they're longer, I don't know. Let me actually, let me go get one. For comparison, one of the decks I'm talking about. Yeah, okay. So on those decks, it's a little bit longer. And thinner. You can see how much thinner. So that's why I feel like it just shuffles a little bit easier. Because there's more movement in the card. But these are really easy to shuffle. card. And we have politics. So let's see what that means. And there's just like a little, it's in gray or silver. So let's go to this book and see. I have no idea where it would be. Huh. Okay, I must be missing it. Oh, here it is. Seven of clouds. So this gray thing, that's for clouds. So that's probably, oh, those are like swords. Okay, so... Seven of Clouds, Politics, page 130. Let's go see if it's like the normal, um, if it's close to the traditional meanings in the Rider weight, or if they're taking on com something completely different. So I'm going to read the commentary too. Do you recognize this man? All but the most innocent and sincere of us have a politician lurking somewhere in our minds. In fact, the mind is political. Its very nature is to plan and scheme and try to manipulate situations and people so that it can get what it wants. Here the mind is represented by the snake, covered with clouds, okay, and speaking with a forked tongue. Ooh. But the important thing to realize about this card is that both faces are false. The sweet, innocent, trust me face is a mask. And the evil, toxic, I'll have my way with you face is a mask too. Politicians don't have real faces. The whole game is a lie. Take a good look at yourself to see if you have been playing this game. What you see might be painful, but not as painful as continuing to play. It doesn't serve anybody's interest in the end, least of all yours. Whatever you might achieve in this way, will just turn to dust in your hands. Anybody who can be a good pretender, a hypocrite, will become your leader politically, will become your priest religiously. All that he needs is hypocrisy. All that he needs is cunningness. All that he needs is a facade to hide behind. Your politicians live double lives. 
your priests live double lives, one from the front door, the other from the back door. And the back door life is their real life. Those front door smiles are just false. Those faces looking so innocent are just cultivated. If you want to see the reality of the politician, you will have to see him from his back door. There he is in his nudity, as he is, and so is the priest. These two kinds of cunning people have dominated humanity, and they found out very early on that if you want to dominate humanity, make it weak, make it feel guilty, make it feel unworthy, destroy its dignity, take all glory away from it, humiliate it, and they have found such subtle ways of humiliation that they don't come in the picture at all. They leave it to you to humiliate yourself, to destroy yourself. They have taught you a slow kind of suicide. Wow. I don't think that there was a more fitting card <laughs> to pull for today. Um, yeah, I think I'm really going to love this deck. And maybe that's what this deck helps uncover. Our true faces the true nature of who we are. So that is the Osho Zen Tarot. I can't wait to get to know this deck. And once I'm familiar with it, I'll put this into my, um, into my working, my working decks. And I'll begin to do readings with this. So if you'd like to purchase this deck, I will leave a link in the description. And um, if you'd like to book a reading with me, please visit my website. Or if you have any questions, you can contact me at my email, which will also be in the description. And if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Have a nice day.